interesting concept. It will probably look pretty different upon it being released, if it ever does get released. Will it look like a Kia Soul? It could. Will it look like a Prius? It could. Will it look like a normal school bus? I hope. But whatever ends up happening, I am interested in seeing the progression of electric school buses, not just from BYD, but from other manufacturers such as Green Power uh, and Lion and other companies that could potentially start creating uh, electric school buses. We, we don't know if there are going to be more in the future. And if there are, I'm genuinely interested in that. And I, I am interested in this, even if it is a potential StarCraft Dodge 2.0. I want to see where this is headed. So we're going to be talking about the BYD Type A because there's a picture going around and um, it it shouldn't be. It should, <laughs> the picture should not be going around. The bus should not be made. Just... It's awful. So just a quick refresher. This is the picture that we originally saw of it. Kind of looks like a Kia Soul. Kind of just looks stupid overall. Um, and I think most of us were hoping that it would change. Well, uh, there were a couple changes made, I guess, to make it look more realistic. And um, I hate it so much. Well, uh, here it is. I'm so sorry that you have to be looking at this image. I'm so sorry <laughs> that this bus exists. Uh, let's talk about this monstrosity right here. Okay, the very first thing that struck me is the warning lights. What the f*** is going on here? What? Why do they... It, it, I don't know what it is with manufacturers and warning lights now. Um... That just, it doesn't look right. And I think it's because the rest of it is at an angle and the warning lights themselves are not. Maybe it would have looked a little bit better with like C2 warning lights or something like that. Uh, but even then, it, it's just not right. I don't know, just that whole, that whole top area, the whole warning light area looks off. School bus, the, the wording just looks super small. This almost kind of looks like a G5 kind of sort of and as i'm thinking about it right now normally i'm a fan of warning light visors this would look disgusting with warning light visors uh i sincerely hope that those do not come on here let's move down a little bit let's talk about the the front of the bus i mean it kind of looks pretty similar to what we had seen in the rendering and yeah, still the same thoughts. It It's just a Kia Soul school bus. I mean, I don't hate it as much as I do the warning lights. I It's not my favorite design, but it's something different. It's something that we haven't seen before. So I'm not like 100% opposed to this. And it, this, this really just looks like a more realistic rendering of a bus than just the initial almost drawing, I guess. So I'm interested to see if we will continue to see uh, changes on the bus like we did from uh, phase one to now phase two. And uh, if we see a phase three, if that'll be different uh, when this bus actually comes out. The other thing that's getting me, I still don't understand this whole design on the side. I don't know why that has to be there. I don't know why they're putting it there. It does not need to be there at all nor do I understand what these little dots on there are for. It, it's very confusing and it doesn't look right. I'm somewhat okay with the black on the bottom had it not been angling all over and like really emphasizes the wheel well. I think had they just kept it a solid line all the way around, that would have been better, but uh, it, it, it still just doesn't make up for this design around the windows. Because this is going to be an electric school bus, you can see that there are two, what I assume to be, battery compartments. <laughs> it's just, this seems more like, this seems more like just a, like a transit van than a school bus, 
to me. All right, let's take a look at the second picture. Uh, this one's a little bit better since we don't have to see the front of it, but we have not seen this side of the bus before either. All right, so this is the passenger side of the bus. One of the first things I'm noticing is major C2 vibes on the door. Um, it just looks like one. Again, I don't know why we have this design on the side. Uh, and really emphasized on the wheel well there. You can see that this is a handicapped bus. Nothing more to say about that. Now, one thing we have not seen is the back of the bus. I'm wondering if this is going to be essentially like the Type D, since we have seen pictures, or rather renderings, of the back of that bus. So you can see two taillights stacked, and then there's another something right above that that appears to have the same shape and size that the taillights below that do. I'm wondering if that's maybe a turn signal, or, or what? I, I don't know what that is, but I also have no idea why it's so far away from the other two. And going back to the C2, you know what? I know exactly what this look. I know what this looks like to me. Okay. This is, and this goes with the last picture too. I know it. I know it spot on, okay? This is a Kentucky spec C2 with circle warning lights instead of the normal warning lights. It did not look right. It was disgusting. It was a very weird spec. Uh, but that that's the vibe I'm getting off of this right here from this angle and um, I guess kind of from the other angle too, uh, but more so this one. Otherwise, there's not too much to comment on here. Everything else kind of looks uh, just like the other side and uh, I mean, there's a roof hatch. The AC is a large AC system. I'm, I, I, I don't hate it. I don't, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of it right now. I would, I, I'd still like to see actual pictures of this, but hey, this is better than nothing. So I don't really know what I was expecting because obviously uh, the original picture we saw was just a, a, a rendering and it, we all knew it was going to look different than that. So I, I mean, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it's still just the warning lights just they're just getting me they, they don't fit on there correctly at all i don't know i mean i'm i'm interested to see what else comes from this could this be the next starcraft dodge potentially potentially could uh depending on what the real life version of it looks like this is definitely closer to real life and um, it's definitely headed that direction, although um, I am okay with small bits and pieces of this compared to the StarCraft Dodge. Um, I think this is definitely going to be one of these buses where 10 years from now um, we're going to be looking at it, wondering why it was made. Well, I mean, I mean we're doing that now, but I think... <laughs> We're also going to be trying to find the three of these that were bought um, so that we can take pictures of them and share them with everyone. Anyways, uh, let me know your thoughts on this just strange looking bus down below. Let's have a conversation about it. We can all talk about why this should not exist. <laughs> and... Um, uh, what what they could have done better on this change the warning lights. I mean, I, I suppose that's my biggest thing but Hey, I guess I guess that's better than you know having to change the entirety of the but which they should They really should. I'm also curious now. What is the back of the bus gonna look like? What are the warning lights gonna look like on there? You can kind of see in this picture that the back is curved a little bit almost like a super coach um, and I, I, I don't like, I, I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, throw your comments about this bus below. Let's talk about this. Uh, it should definitely be interested and I, I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this one. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. 
Uh, make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down in camera they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or your district is going to replace all of their buses with one of those. And make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care, don't let anything happen to you. So yeah guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching.